fool I leave my home to have child that dies? Who'll continue my line? Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. Boy's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you. One of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Grand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. What are you looking at? Lovely scar. Wanna see mine? Greetings. Greetings. See you. Fare thee. Straight to the last. You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, Sonny? Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. 
Except last I saw him, he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Out of me sight. Greetings, white hair. Whoa, what a sword. Hey there. Look. You're a witch. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. The sorceress, Yennefer, right? To have strength to the last. Hey, mom. 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 Found your shawl, near Lothar's house, by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So? Will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No. But he doesn't have to die. You have a choice. All right. If it'll save Chalva, I'll go back to the hussy. And you. Best not see your face round here again. As Yennefer of Vengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers, and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Krak and Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. Best blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Oh. I know your kind. There's 
truth to that blather. So. Oh, yeah. You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he'd died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. There's truth to that blather by the ice giant. Fang and claw wounds all over the body, but those indicate feeding. He died from a blow to the head. The Fiend. Lair to lick its wounds. Need to track it down. Eat only the entrails. Fussy. No Ove here. Maybe the fiend dragged him off. Ran this way.
Cross to the other side. This way, toppling trees. Won't get away this time. Yellow tunic. Must be Ove. Avenged those boys. There's that at least. Came of those nice barrel lads who went treasure hunting in the ruins. I don't know, but I'm afraid we shan't see him again. Oof, why are you talking like that? Mm. Went down to the river to do my wash. Got there. Uh. Water was running red with blood. Someone might have been gotten fish upstream. Perhaps. Vacant. We should oh. ask Freya to make it so. <laughs> Greetings. Any tidings? Bad ones. Your son's dead, killed by a fiend. All I could do was avenge him. I told him, son, nothing good ever came out of Pharaoh. Stay home. Your time will yet come for adventures and glory. Your reward. 
This gold brought me no luck. May it serve you better. What's that, sir? clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! A generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, 
The mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask and the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ceres' life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Jennifer's used the mask. I saw the Foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on it. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range.
What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. Ready? Use the mask. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. This is creepy. Anyone who could miss out and had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Don the mask. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. repelled the other with powerful magic and fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace pass leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storms died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. 
Siri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, Mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skellig. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women. And an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Can we talk? Fant. Congratulations. I thank you. The Skellige Circle chose me years ago, about the time when the old disputes between the clans were reigniting. Job's been mainly politics then. Aye, but I've not minded. Since time immemorial, the druids have wandered betwixt the clans, keeping endless feuds in check. We care for equilibrium, the balance of all things, not just trout populations and streams. We're lucky the Jarls always valued us as advisors. The war. Curious to know your opinion. Well, I believe Emia's chosen a poor time to wage it. Hard to find any better as I see it, with the North now in disarray. The North is weak, true. But I've the impression the Emperor is dealing with some domestic strife. Far too much to start a war. Radovid is a madman. What a cunning one. He's certain to take advantage. Wouldn't happen to play Gwent, would you? Certainly. I got my first deck, wall oh, years ago, back in Sintra. Proceeded to teach the game to half of Skellige. Why do you ask? Looking to play? Yeah, glad to play around.
Lovely. My congratulations. You've a good deck, but it could use a bit of supplementation. Here, take this card. Thanks. You've a knack for it. So much so you ought to challenge Crack. I gave him his deck and introduced him to the game. But the pupil has surpassed his master. There's also Grimmest, a vile character, but undeniably talented.
grown any younger, Grimest. You must Ooh. pass your knowledge on. Ooh. I'm no trout that must get to its spawning ground. I shall do what I please. Now leave me be. Huh? the ground navy leaves a bit knee. Mashed with hyssop pollen. No, no. Not hyssop. Give it less. Yes, give it less. Or he'll be two pinches. Want to talk to you. But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. You? <laughs> My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spickerog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> That's so. Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply betray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. Though I am preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me. And I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fridjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? This Fritjof, who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vader maker is a druid who can manipulate the weather, stop a storm. Cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. The spirit has no equal. Its strength, its flavor. <sighs> Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. Hmm. Pimper now. Far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from. Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. And if the rumors are true, a creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. I've told you what you must do. Why do you still bother me? Hmm. Farewell then.
true. No lie in the legend. Welcome to the Sacred Grove. What do you druids deal in these days? Farewell. Failed to last until the fall. Oi, Witcher! Got an offer you must for be prospering around here, huh? Hurt their Eat silver our ways to it. Aye, it's there. It ain't so easy to get it out. Why's up? Ain't too deep in the rock. Ah! Once I begin, you must all enter your homes, shut the windows, lock the doors. I don't like this. You shouldn't be risking your life for us. Do as you say. You, Fritjof. That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant. Sometimes even by my name. Geralt of Rivia. Huh. A man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Grammist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him. For old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. Time for a little storm. Oh! Animal sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep, I think. Yes. 
Stücke, Swarm, Fatna Halle! Uh, it's starting. not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, they'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way, folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I should gladly have her to help him with his ritual. Till then.
Skeleton's been picked clean, but there's something next to it. on the leaf still. Someone picked the bloom recently. Ah, uh, another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grannis has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grannis to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesson? An axebrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals.
Someone buried him. Not skillfully, but with great care. Lots of scratches. None look lethal, though. Body's dried out as if it was drained. I knew him. It's Yara the White of Care Trolder. He died far from home. Footprints, some fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. Oh, no, no, oh, stuff, please. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is great. No, no, stop, <sighs> please. Stop it, that tickles. <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her! Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. We saw what happens to those who land in this beast's embrace. We saw Yara's body. Then you saw I buried his body as custom dictates. I did not seek his death. He... he was very old. His heart was weak. I warned him it could end that way, but he kept returning. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches. Especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, trot blood, and these are my brethren. You're right. But unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face? I know. Their lack of these attributes, is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that. But never mind. No means no, I get it. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramond, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must make some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy.
look around peacefully now. Recipes. Parchment's a little faded, but legible. left. Here's where the mash goes, probably. Done. Now to boil the mash. have rotted. Metal's tarnished, dust everywhere. Doesn't seem to be broken, though. Ought to be enough. Time to cool it down. Stunner. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fridjof, shall we begin? 
The sooner the better. We've a long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a letter. Suffice to say, it's a burning matter now. Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the base from Moose Gordon and spare from Hale Hell. Good times, Fritz. Off. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only dreads of the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Garrett, let the lessons begin. Drink hard and study hard. I like the idea. Yeah, yeah. I call it stimulation and assimilation. First you stimulate, and then... <laughs> You assimilate. I shut down. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, I'll go. Who said old age is a burden? I taught you all I know. Got anything to sell? I do, but it's expensive. Gwent, ever play the game? If your question is, would I be interested in playing you? The answer is simple. No. Afraid of losing? I understand. Very well. I drove your deck. Win! And I'll give you my best card.
one. I believe you're ready to challenge Madman Lugos. I do wonder if he'll agree to play you for his catacan. You're back. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards. Keep an eye on him. You're pale. You drink that? I'll be a priestess when I grow up. Don't want no stinky husband. Vagabond. 
got me. Wanted to talk. You ever play Gwent? Ah, Hermion taught me the rules and gave me a deck. Wish to play? Let's play a quick round. What, Wolf? I've this rare card here. Take it. It'll be of more use to you. Thanks. You might consider challenging a man in Kertrolda village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Just as his name. Friends, we show heart. Foes, we show one. our axe. Don't make these continental dandies come a fucking them. We gotta drag their corpses out of the end. It's not worth shite if a weak arms. Don't bother in me.
Would you like to buy something? Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. You like to let's play cop
drink last night too? Strong as you are. Greetings. Smooth seas this morn. As if the gods themselves were paying their respects to the great Konung Bran. You a tailor? I am. Only one in the Isles, most like. Glad they look at what you got. Wise man. No common rags among my wares. It's a great passion. Wanna play? I'm ready. Let's do this.
win. Congratulations. Gull shut off cliffs. Not see your duck. It's been a dull day. We'll play for my kataka. Show me what you can do. To gut ye. But then they'd say Lugos had gone even madder. Take my catacan and sword off.
Gate. Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. bandits that lurk in the high You looking to buy something? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any landbound shop in Novograd. Let's do some trading. So long. You looking to buy something? Well, you're in for a surprise. We're just as well stocked as any land-bound shop in Novograd. How about a few rounds of cards? Gwent, specifically.
You're looking to buy. How about a few? Spring a leak as well. May your axe never crumble. <laughs> <laughs> 